Hello guys, welcome to EZTV Presence Tech View, another episode. Today I'll show you Active Directory uh, over LDAP authentication with your vCenter. Less than five minutes, let's get started, okay? So I'm going to share my screen and this is my vCenter. And if I can show you, like I don't have any kind of Active Directory authentication. Uh, if you go here, configuration, or identity source, you're gonna see here nothing. That means I don't have anybody, anything, any any Active Directory. And if you look at here, there is no uh, domain, uh, like Active Directory domain here. So let's get started and let's see how we can do uh, Active Directory LDAP authentication. So for LDAP authentication, you have to go to where? First, you have to go to, like for example, you are in here. So you have to go to menu, uh, at, uh, administration, then configuration, then identity source, and then in here, add a entity source, but you have to select Active Directory over LDAP. So over LDAP, you can do two ways, LDAP and LDAPs. LDAPs is secure, but LDAPs, I'm gonna show you LDAPs, and LDAPs means it's a secure uh, channel, so you have to have a SSL certificate for that. So you can do LDAP authentication if you have a certificate, but if you don't have the certificate, you will be able to generate one, or you can maybe collect it from your edit team, Active Directory team. So I'll show you actually how you can generate it if you have an access on Active Directory. So you don't need to go to the Active Directory. The only one thing you need to do, if you have an appliance machine, any appliance machine, any Linux machine, just party, establish a party session on this, on your, um, so I have a um, Linux machine. It's a different, it's not an, uh, it's not, it's not uh, vCenter. So you can log in your vCenter, you can connect, uh, your be center with the party or any kind of appliance uh, Linux machine. So I'm going to open another one. Uh, I have another um, uh, appliance machine. And hit enter. Okay. And run one of the command to generate the certificate, which is this command. So I'll share this command. Uh, I'll share this command. So copy this one and then press it here and hit enter. Okay, so it's give you the certificate. So what do you need to do? Just select it, just select it and drag and select it and then that's it, it's already copied. When you select it, it's already copied. Just go to open a new brand new, uh, open a brand new notepad. So, Notepad like this, and then just press it and go to the file, go to the file, save as, and all files, and then say LDAPs, LDAP as dot CER, sir, and then save it. But I have already one here, so that's why I'm not going to save it. Okay, so I have already here. So you're gonna do it like this, and make sure you have it where. If you look at on your download folder where you save it, you can save it any anywhere. So make sure you have it. Okay, I have it here, right? And now I need some information. So active directory over LDAP and uh, name. Name can be anything, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, but you should have something meaningful. So yeah, we are doing ELS domain for ELS domain. So I, I should have something meaningful. So I said ELS. And then base distinguished name for the Base distinguished name for the okay, so just give me a second. Uh, name for the users, right? So, for the users, and uh, what should be this? It's confusing, right? So, you don't need to be confused. So, if you want any specific OU, and then you can assign just go level and go properties and go to the attributes, then you're going to see this one. But if you assign like this, that means whatever the users on this OU, only that those users will be available on your vCenter when you assign them. But otherwise, other users not gonna be available. So in that case, you should do some parents folder. That's how you will have all of them, all of them. So that means what? If you go to the properties of any folder here, you're gonna see the attributes and like same thing, right? So, so instead of doing this, I'm going to show you. I will explain you here. So it means the level O2 OU, whatever the users we have, only they will have access if I send like this. If I send like this, right? 
and best distinguished name of the groups means your domain. This is the domain, directly domain. So I will recommend you to put the same thing here. It's not going to affect you anything. So that's how you will have all of them, all computers, everything. Or you can maybe specify specific OU, maybe like your just accounts. So you can have like go to the properties and this one. This, that's also you can do. That's also you can do like this. It's up to you. So if you do only directly domain, then it's going to, you'll have all the OUs, whatever the elements you have, like user groups or users or computers account, everything will be, you'll be able to see on the base center. Then based on that, you can assign them. So it's up to you, but I'll recommend you can go for this one for both. And then domain name, you know, the, your domain name, right? For my domain is ls.com and my domain alias is before the dot. So it's just only ls. And username, I know is my, I have a service account, which is BCD admin, this, and then the password of my service account. And then specify your uh, primary server DNS. So I know which one is my, um, I know which one is my LDAP server, right? So based on your LDAP server, only from your organization, you can assign that LDAP server. But before that, you have to do LDAPS because it's LDAPS. Then it's column slash slash and your LDAP server name dot your domain name, right? The fully qualified domain name. And then column 636 because 636 is the port of LDAPs. But whenever you have LDAPs, I said you have to have a certificate, right? So uh, go, uh, browse and go to the certificate that one you generate and then add. Wonderful, it's added. Now you can check it. Go here and go here, ELS. Now you're going to see all the users here. So, and also groups. If you go here, so for example, administrator, uh, add a member. If you say, okay, ELS, um, groups, you can send groups, whatever you want, you can add it like this. So it's up to you how you're gonna do that, right? So this is how you're gonna assign them. So that's all, and uh, we are able to integrate our Active Directory successfully with the LDAPs. Thank you, thanks for watching. And if you like my video, please give a big thumbs up. And don't forget to, um, if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you, I'll see you guys again in my another video.